Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching me from. Right, welcome to The Awakening and my name is Kelvin Perry. This is kind of a different video altogether, but it's a follow-up video to the one that I posted uh, a few days ago where I was showing, um, you know, showing you what images I was able to capture with my DJI Mini 3 uh, drone that I just uh, bought but you know what I actually just used that drone for two flights I think two videos the two videos that I showed that's that's all and uh, I, I had to really really think so much what I was going to do whether this was the right drone for me I really loved it it had everything that I needed I, you know why the, the reason why I was so fascinated about this drone is, is it was completely different from the ones that I've had, the cheap ones that you get on. And I've had one of those, uh, uh, maybe two or three, <laughs> not one, two or three of those. And those drones, when you when you take off, you have to have your hands on, on the controls. Otherwise, you just drift off. And I had one that just went, spins and, and went. But these are quite easy to fly and uh, I was I was blown away I mean the fact that it uses um, a satellite GPS and it's able to pinpoint where it is and then when it goes up it just stays there stability the camera the technology is amazing but what I did was I only used that drone for like I said um, for a week I had that drone for a week and I had to return it because I think the reason why I had to return that DJI uh, mini 3 drone was one I think I did try to share this one was obviously didn't have obstacle avoidance now the reason why I wanted this was I actually had a near miss when I was shooting my last video uh, where I was pulling away as my daughter was skating and then I was flying backwards um, I actually went <laughs> <laughs> I realized I just missed the tree. I could have gone into the tree. But if this drone would have had 360 uh, obstacle avoidance, it would have moved away, would have bypassed. And uh, But thank God I did not crash the, um, the, the drone. The second thing that I really wanted, the, uh, I, I, I just couldn't keep this drone was obviously I had mentioned it it's it's the active uh, tracker now a friend of mine has a, a DJI drone and he was able to track me so this is the first time I saw that the other small little drones that I've had I've never had that so when I saw that I was like oh this is really good and the fact that my gimbal which I'm using right now are uh, using uh, using the um, whatever the eye uh, is able to track me with my camera that's uh, that's that's there and I thought this is really fantastic to have that on your drone it's 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 actually amazing but the reason why I wanted the drone is not to basically track me it's, it's to shoot and, and film uh, buildings things of interest uh, and that's the reason why I wanted it. so really to some that might not be very very important to others like myself uh, you know you start thinking all right okay that's fine if if i can find a drone that has got active tracker and definitely the 360 obstacle avoidance that will be really really great and the, the, th the third thing is obviously and the, the reason why it i could see what it's saying and all that i'll be able to say you know what that that is fine so what i did was i went on and bought my dji 4 pro there we are i've actually unboxed it well i've done a test flight in in the garden but it's a fantastic drone nothing different from uh the dji 3 and i'm sure how the floor but the fact that it's got sensors right in front at the back and underneath sensors i really i did try this drone in the garden and it's got a light at the bottom there so when it takes off it does shine it bright light at the you know when it's dark and i i really tested it i mean they um, but i will show you some videos uh when i do some uh, 
uh, some of those things that I want to try and do track and, and, and shoot some of the interesting uh, you know uh, videos from from way up uh, of the nice things that I see whether it's here in the UK or in Africa Zambia so just keep an eye for some of those videos if you like those videos but obviously with centered around investing building so if it's in zambia probably uh, show farms land farm uh, development buildings and all that stuff uh, all that stuff so keep an eye for some of those videos if you are interested but i really love this drone it only weighs two uh 249 grams which obviously here in the uk simply means that the only thing that you need is uh, to have the operator's id but i've got the operator's id and i've got the um the flyer's id as well so there's my operator's id which you need to put on your drone and uh, yeah so it's it's on the side there it's, make sure that you follow your local regulations the laws where you live and just enjoy your drone it's really fantastic piece of uh, equipment the camera is just amazing i hope that explains why i moved from a mini uh, a dji 3 mini to a dji mini 4 pro which is the latest drone i think came a few, few months would a few weeks i don't know uh, it's but this is the latest drone that's in this series that dgi has uh, produced so really impressed with it i love the camera i love everything that it has so i, I look forward to seeing what this can do hey please don't remember don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and if you really enjoy stuff like this uh, let me know uh, in the comment section and if you are interested in drones and photos and all that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing but I just love taking videos so uh, you know let's share some information that you may have God bless you and I see you in the next video